The Fallout London installation guide didn't provide much direction for Steam users in particular. This short video will give you everything you need to install F4SC and the simple downgrade patcher so you can start playing the game within just a few minutes. If you have any trouble, contact me on Discord for one-on-one -on -one assistance. Experienced modders can skip to the summary. Before installing Fallout London, it is recommended that you remove all files related to Fallout 4 and complete a fresh install. You also need to disable cloud saves for Fallout 4 in the Steam app. To be completely sure that everything is removed, you should navigate to the root directory and delete everything inside manually. The automated uninstaller won't remove foreign files. Unless you installed it elsewhere, the root directory should be in C. Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4. Go to Documents and delete or move all files from the folder My Games Fallout 4 as shown on screen. Now for the easy stuff. Download Fallout 4 and run it at least once to ensure the game starts normally. You do not need to start a new game and should not create any save files at this point. Running the game is only necessary for generating INI and other configuration files. Once you've confirmed the game doesn't crash on startup, you can proceed with the installation. Go to GOG, create an account, install the GOG app, and place Fallout London in your GOG library. For the downgrade portion, I am not using the Fallout London downgrader mod because it requires access to my Steam account. Thus, let's take a look at my simple downgrade tutorial. All of the necessary files are linked in order in the description. To start with, we need to install the Fallout 4 script extender, which is very simple. Download the file manually through the Nexus Mods link provided below and unpack the F4SE files. Open your root directory through Steam by right-clicking the title, clicking Properties in the drop-down, then clicking Install the files in the pop-up menu, followed by the Browse button in the top right corner. The root directory is most commonly located in File Explorer under C, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4, as shown on screen. Now, copy the f4sc.dll, f4scloader.exe, and the data folder to the root directory you just opened. The SRC files can be ignored as they are for programmers. With that done, install Address Library and the Backported Archive 2 support system with your mod organizer. The Backported support system needs to be run before or above any mods that make changes to the HUD to avoid any errors. Lastly, download the simple downgrader, unpack the files, and place them in your root directory. Then, just run the fo4downgrader.exe. Microsoft Defender may flag this as an unsafe file. Simply click the underlined More Info drop-down near the top left, and a new button will appear in the bottom right corner that says Run Anyway. Click that, and a command window should appear. When it shows patching successful, you may close the patcher. Once you've installed the downgrader, you can download the Fallout London files to your root directory by clicking the option and pasting your root directory path into the search bar of the File Explorer pop-up. When done, the true install can begin by clicking the purple play button. Just confirm once again that the files will be installed to the root directory and press install. When that is done, your work is complete. Press play and enjoying Fallout London. In summary, using a completely clean installation of Fallout 4 with cloud saves disabled, run the game once. Manually install F4SC, install address library in the backport of BA2 support with your mod organizer, and then download and install Fallon to your root directory. This is my process, others exist, but this one works. Check out my mod showcases for daily updates.